this is actively poisoning you and big gas had to use the same tactics as big tobacco to get you to buy it. In the early 1900s, the gas industry couldn't keep up with the electric industry, so they had to find a new way to market gas. The American Gas Association formed in 1918 and started marketing gas to housewives as a new freedom for women. In the 1930s, they created catchy slogans, the most notable being Cooking with Gas, which they planted in popular comedian Bob Hope's radio show. Here's the thing. In the 1970s, Big Gas realized that gas stoves are actually super toxic. They release chemicals at a rate higher than the EPA allows outdoors, and they're directly linked to 13% of childhood asthma cases. So you know what they did? Recalled gas stove hired the tobacco people to run a marketing campaign to hide the fact that they are so toxic. And even though they've known about the toxic chemicals for 50 years, they still pour millions of dollars into marketing campaigns, getting celebrity chefs like Bobby Flay and a myriad of micro-influencers to promote gas stoves. You may say, isn't that just because gas stoves are better for cooking? Well, just because they hired famous chefs to endorse it doesn't make it true, and electric induction stoves are faster, more precise, and don't get hot when you put your hand on the burner. But of course, a big gas doesn't want you to know this. They'd rather you just breathe in benzene, a chemical linked to leukemia and other blood cancers, as well as a bunch of other respiratory irritants so that they can make money. If you want to learn more about alternatives to gas stoves, even if you rent like me, you can go to this link. And remember, the first step to fighting big gas is not falling victim to their marketing tactics.